Welcome to another video from Cuts Training and Professional Services. I'm Kelly Cuts, and if you find this video to be helpful, you can find this and other videos at www.cutstraining.com. In this video, we'll be discussing uh, the role of devices in Juno Space. This will include uh, how to how devices are managed in Juno Space, where we look at them, the kind of information we can look at. There will also be a video to follow that will be how to discover devices in Juno Space. Now, one of the confusing things that a lot of people find in Juno Space is that the devices have to be preloaded into space first, then they get used by the applications. Um, this shouldn't really be all that confusing, but it does provide the power, if you will, for Juno Space. All the devices are initially managed in the platform. <clears throat> so if we enter the platform, you see this devices icon. Let's go back to the home for the platform. Here's all your here's your application ribbon. Up at the top is your application ribbon for your platform. Over at one side is the uh, the devices. This icon right here, anytime you see it in any application, it's going to take you to this screen right here. Okay. Now as you can see from our widgets, our gadgets on the on the the uh, main desktop we have quite a few OS versions installed on this system and we have quite a few different devices installed on this system again each each widget each gadget has the ability to filter so if you just click on that line it'll take you into manage devices you see right here this is changed now manage devices and it opens the manage screen and it is, it is filtered by keyword and our EX4200s. So that's, that's uh, a nice feature right there. Going back to our gadgets, our desktop gadgets here. Now, on the upper ribbon, on the ribbon at the top of the screen up here, we have the different... Uh, tools that we can use to manage our devices. We've got manage devices which gives us a view of all the, the devices we have in the system. We've got discover devices, we'll talk about that in another video. Uh, add deployed devices and deploy devices. These are for uh, net screens and branch SRXs, these two. Uh, we've got secure console, gives us the ability to console into a device from Juno Space. So if you're remoted into Juno Space from the outside world, you're logged in. You don't have to worry about Telnet or SSH through the outside firewall. This connection is from the Juno Space appliance through the local network to the uh, to the de the device, and the only thing to get sent out is the um, screenshots. Manage adapters. Adapters right now, not as many of them out there. The WW adapter is actually for the um, export devices. So if you're using a lot of uh, export devices, you'll need to install that. Going back to manage devices, we see that we have a huge list of devices that, that are being managed by this particular Juno Space box. Notice over to the side, we have a bunch of them listed as out of spec or down as the status or the connection. Keep in mind that this Juno Space Box is actually in a training environment and lab, so there's a lot of things that just keep changing and it's not up to date. Uh, if you'll notice the devices that are in sync, Okay, we have a group of devices here that show us in sync. This means that these devices are up, that they are on the network, 
and Junospace has recently talked to them. Information in Junospace is snapshot based. It's not real time. So if I go over here under my interfaces, you see I have an interfaces column and let's say I want to view the information about the interfaces on one of these devices. I simply go in here and click on view. It opens another page and it shows me the interfaces that I have, IP addresses that may be assigned on these interfaces, their condition up or down, what they are, Ethernet, half duplex, what the MTUs are, that sort of thing. Keep in mind all of this information is a snapshot. If this device is out of sync, this is not accurate. If something changed from the last time this device synced, this is not accurate. <clears throat> so up at the top I can I can go to up here at the top I have return to inventory view. So I click on that, that takes me back. Now, if I wanted to sync this device, I check the device, open the actions drawer, and I can see a full list of everything that I can do to that device, resync with the network. And it starts a sync job, which will have Junospace go out, reconnect to that device, and say, hey, send me your information. Actually, we missed it, it went pretty quick. Let me see if we can do this again. Actually, you can right-click the, the device, tell it to resync with the network. And if you watch over here, right in here, you'll see it flash up, syncing device, when I, uh, after I confirm this job, see it synchronizing right here? Now it's in sync. Now if I go back and look, this is the most recent inventory of the interfaces and their condition. Okay, back to inventory. Looking at this list, again right clicking, you can edit the device configuration from here. This is the Junos configuration. You can view the change request for the device, views of physical inventory. This physical inventory is anything with a serial number on the device. So if I look, I've got all these serial numbers. I've got service SKUs. Okay, I can actually um, expand that out make that larger so I can see the part numbers and the SKUs. If I need part numbers, model numbers, if it's applicable there will be a description and in some cases there may even be information about versioning and revisioning and things like that. So anything on this device with a serial number, anything that's field replaceable, anything of that nature. Now, this can be exported. I can select one or more and come up and tell it to export a physical inventory. I can export it all. And as you see, it's a CSV format. That means that you can import that into Excel or other spreadsheet applications. You could use that with a proper uh, API and import that into a database. So this gives you an extremely easy way to export the inventory of the Junospace devices that you're managing. Now I've got multiple selected so let's unselect and we'll just select one. Go back to right click. Um, you can get to the web UI. You can look at your licensing from here. So you can go into licensing for this device. This device has no special licensing on it. Return to inventory. Oh, I didn't I didn't point out. Let's go back to view licensing inventory. A lot of these screens right here 
have this export button gives you the ability to export that devi device's inventory you download the license file again CSV format back to manage your devices please um, continuing on you have the ability to view alarms from here or do troubleshooting so if I want to see what alarms may be out on these I can get a, a view of that okay so there's just a lot a lot of information that comes from here um, again all your devices must be imported into Juno space prior to being able to import them and use them or access them in any of your applications so always the first step is to go in and discover those devices in Juno space and we'll talk about that in another video now, I hope we've been able to shed a little bit of light on what basic features under managed devices in Juno space there are Thank you for viewing this Juno Space training video. For more Juno Space how to videos and information, please go to our website at junos space.com.